Rukum Rakam Robo Bobo Bo Emperor Bina Emperor's Entertainment Another episode for you of the Up With Your Podcast My Genius I give thanks I don't know why the Father Father bless me like that Bless me like that But I give thanks This one is called Rules and principles for success. No delays, number one. Develop your mind. Always be feeding your mind. Always be growing mentally. Because it's from the mental space that everything is created. Imagination. Develop your mind. Always be reading and consuming content that adds value to you personally, your life, and overall everything and everyone that you are interacting with or will be interacting with it shows develop your mind meaning develop yourself because even when you are exercising exercising is not just for the body for you to get a physique to look good it also contributes to cognitive benefits peace of mind more clear thought where you can think more clearly you can see things more for what they are you have more strength mentally in order to guard yourself from incoming things because every day and every time you have different things that are pulling and drying and demanding your attention even with watching a simple video on any social platform not going to be specific for anyone more while you see ads pop up they are trying to get your attention to sell you something in this day and age you cannot go anywhere on the internet or anywhere in life because social media is the new street you see me that lockdown kind of showed us the direction where life is really propelling into and you have to continuously be developing your mind and yourself in order to stay up to date and up to par so you yourself can be more susceptible to greater things and opportunities and nothing will miss you you understand the second one is to trust yourself trust yourself trust your ideas trust your decisions trust what you are being led to trust how you are being led to it the way that we really see things is based upon our perspective of self because how you see yourself you will see everything and everyone in that way if you are not feeling worthy or loved in yourself you are going to project that on other people it's automatically going to happen it's not anything that anyone should be ashamed of or feel no form of resentful or regret or anything like that it's normal thing we are all human all of us started from somewhere. All of us are somewhere that we want to be somewhere else. So we are always be coming. Just be and it will come. Always try to renew yourself. Refresh yourself. Reboot yourself. So you can reciprocate out to life what you have inside of you. Because life gives you it not for you to withhold it and hold it and be greedy and be stingy and you understand you have to just be trusting of yourself and trusting of the divine because the divine is with us and within us life and circumstances and everything try to deem you and try to mold you in their way but you have a way for yourself you have the fingerprint that you have no one else have it what you are thinking, no one else can think it. Oh, I'm talking, no, no one else can talk like this. They might be saying the same thing, but in a different way. What you have to say, someone needs to hear it, or you have to deliver it. So don't let nothing stop you, hinder you, slow you down, or try to make you improvise or change. Sometimes it's good, that's why I always say, to trust your intuition and your discernment and the type of person that you are. Because the person you are is who you really should be. 
the Bible tell you, God tell you, say, come as you are. When you come as you are, then he will start to clean you up. Don't say, yo, before you go to God, you are going to stop smoke. You are going to stop being a, a, a prostitute. You are going to stop being a thief. Go to him. Go to him. Go to him. And over time, he will change you. That doesn't mean that you are supposed to sit on your hands and don't do anything. Not literally sitting on your hands, but you know what I mean. Not taking any action. Not doing anything in order to change. Doing meaning seeking knowledge, seeking mentorship, seeking people who know what you don't know. So you can develop yourself because you can never tell if knowing more things and learning more things won't develop you into surpassing that person who helped you and you see a man come back and helping that person that taught you i've seen a lot of people help of a lot of other people and those people became wealthy successful anything that they were seeking to accomplish and they come back and they help their same mentors it doesn't have to be a mentor but the person that helped them this person that contributed to them the person that pushed them because for me, everyone that have that has ever helped me any form of way along my journey up until this point, I am going to reciprocate that energy in a form of way that I can when I reach to where I can really spear resources and it won't hinder me or I'm going out of my way to do it. But sometimes all it takes is a little time, a little patience. You can get one bag of peas to cook a pot of rice and peas and you take half of the peas and give it away it's not going to be rice and peas anymore it's going to be rice with some peas <laughs> you see me uh, our creator he wants us to dwell and to live in abundance and prosperity it doesn't mean that you should be selfish or mean are stingy but you have to be accountable for your resources you got it for a reason to do something when it is time that you have resources can spear you can do that so you have to trust yourself i'm just using that as an example that's where i i got led and that's what i was nudged to use as an example so i use it i don't care what nobody want to think i don't care what you want to think or how you want to take it come back again to perspective what are you looking for ideas opportunities problems obstacles what because i don't see problems as problems anymore i don't see obstacles as obstacles anymore all of them are opportunities for you to grow for you to become better for you to do something different for you to change yourself because now when i really encounter things that i personally cannot change I look at what I have control over and it's myself how I react to it my actions my attitude my mind space that's what I have control over so I will always try to manage what I have in my possession properly in order to get the most fulfilling and fruitful outcome at all times the third one, <laughs> me don't want to do this uh, list of principles you know, because I don't want to, and that's another form of vulnerability and trust yourself. I didn't want to be vulnerable and open to people that they know me, like, know me, know me. You see me? That's why I wasn't really talking that much and telling people about my life and telling. I uh, still not do it, you know, but I realized that in order to get something different, you have to do something different. To be someone different, you have to become someone different. In order to receive different, you have to be different. So, you see what I take to say? It? Number three, the third one, be mysterious. Everybody isn't. I not say mustn't or shouldn't. Everybody isn't supposed to know everything that you have going on. Everybody isn't supposed to know everything about you. Be mysterious. Everything that I am doing, 
nobody nobody didn't know that I was going to do it. I used to be the type of person that used to tell people around me and people and my friends and those type of things, my dreams and what I wanted to do and those type of things. And some of them they always try to tell me the all the reason why making Naga work. All the reason why it's not going to work. And I just got sick and tired of that. A damn dash I got this from say it's okay to be negative but not while I'm dreaming. Marky, I don't have it as yet. I have the ideas. But I don't have it as yet. And I'm coming to you. Showing that I trust you and I love you. And I respect you and I value you and your feedback. I value your opinion. And you are being negative. And you are being toxic towards my dreams. Towards what I am manifesting. You are beating it down. So you don't want me to have it. So be mysterious. Not everybody needs to know what you have going on. Not saying that you must be 100% introverted with everything. Although it's necessary. I'm now breaking out of that pattern. You see me? Because it's a pattern. And it's a self-imposing belief. That's why we have to be careful what we speak of, of ourselves. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. What you speak over yourself, you will become. So be mysterious. Act on your intentions. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> you see me? <coughs> I don't know, like I'm bug on, I'm going to hear everything on me and say, so you fly on my throat. <laughs> You see me? <laughs> Act on your intentions, man. You see me? Anything which what you want to do, do it. Don't make nothing stop you. Don't make nobody stop you. Not even yourself. Don't make yourself stop you. Because we, we self, we talk our own self out of some opportunities. That is really for us. That is just for us. You see me? Because you will know what is for you. You, know? you will know what is for you. And you must practice the art of letting go. That is another form of intention. If it is for you, it's not going to leave you. If it even does go, it will always find its way back to you. Once it is for you. But if, not, if it is not for you, you won't have it. No matter how hard you try. If you does obtain it, it won't last you any time. Even if you does obtain it, it will cause you problems and chaos. That's why when I see problems and those type of things, I I try to knit it from the bud. From the first time I see it, I just try to get it out of the way or put a stop to it. Because big things always start small. Big things always start small. It start from a little, a little point. Just being sarcastic or saying some negative comment in a jokeify way. Nothing is wrong with those type of things. No, I don't say that. Something wrong with it. You see me? And it's depending on the situation and the circumstance also. You can't be too judgmental. Although we shouldn't judge one another. But you have to be looking into things. You have to be looking into things. Everything is for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So everything a person say is for a reason. If you are a person that I respect and I have a lot of admiration and I value you, I'm going to say something. If I don't say something, well, you know I don't care. When I talk about it and when I try to sort it out with you, I care. I care. One time I used to be talking about it for years, months, weeks. Now I talk about it one time. If you don't change, you're not going to hear about it again. Just know, say, yo, it's finished. It's finished. You come back to the Bible again. The same thing where God say. People look at repentance is like, all right, my out in the world, I do this, you know, seven times I come to God, I repent. No. When you repent, you change your ways. You change your mind pattern, your thought pattern. How you speak, 
you change what you're doing, your behavior, certain characteristics, they get delete, that's way. Jonathan, certain things you just stop doing, certain things you don't indulge in, you don't even promote it. Certain things just is off limits. You have a boundary that you set, certain standards that you will accept, and certain things that you won't. No questions, no debate. I just don't accept it. Being discerned, being spiritually connected and well aligned with the Most High Divine, you are going to know. I can't explain it verbally for you to understand it. It, it, it. It's a spiritual thing. It's either you know or you don't know. It's just simple as that. And if you are watching this and you don't know, chances are you are still developing. That is why you are here right now. Chances are I just opened that gate for you. All now that you have to do is to take up that mantle and walk. Like God tell the man, Jesus tell the man, take up your bed and walk. You see me? But the thing is, when the uh, um, Dick Gregor, Gregor or Gregory or something like that, I don't remember his name fully, but in the first name of Dick, I me me, 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 me see it from in an interview when I watch him. I say, yo, seeing the truth is like the universe giving you that magic glasses. Once you put it on, you can't take it off. So you start to see things for what they truly are. For what they is and not what they are. Or what someone wanted to see. Act on your intentions. So from you feel it and you know it. You believe it. Do it. You can do it. And from you get that nudge or that imagination or anything. You are supposed to do it. And you are fulfilling your duty to God and humanity. And the rest of mankind and the human race. That's to come. Or we have that present here or that's to come. Number five. Dream big. Dream big. You see me? I just saw my vibrant Anton man. You see me? Yes, man. Dream big, man. Never stop dreaming. Dreaming big and big and bigger. Big and big and bigger. Dream big and big and bigger. Switch up the language. Grande! Spanish that dada. Da. Dream big and big and bigger. You see me? Dream big man. Never stop dreaming big because the same energy and the same amount of time that it takes to dream small. As I said in a video already, it's the same energy that it takes to dream big. The same energy it takes if it's a Toyota or Volkswagen. It's the same energy that says Rolls Royce or Bugatti, Maserati. It's the same energy. Same time. The same time that you take to say, yo, me just want to make my rent. It's the same time and energy it takes to say, yo, I want to be financially free. I desire to be financially free. Show me the way, Father God, to be financially free. Give me the ideas. Give me the chances, the opportunities. Show me the ways. Asking is one thing. But no, say there is a lot of work to put in to get it. And the work that you put in to get it, when you get it, is going to take double that to maintain it. Remember that part. You have to work in order to get it and you have to double the work in order to maintain it. Working now and to, to reach it and to get it is one thing, you know, my friend. My genius, my brother, my sister. Working one thing now is one way, you know. But when time you get it and when you reach the or when you reach there, the work has just begun. The work has just begun. Number six, be committed to your career. Be committed to your craft. Be committed to you. Because you are a business. You are a CEO of you. You know get no simpler than that. You don't get no better than that, my genius. You see me? You see me? You see me? Yes, man, be committed to it. So if you say you're going to do something, you do it. No matter what. 
when I exercise, I exercise outside. I don't exercise in a room or in a gym. I do the gym at my yard, at my house. Jamaica I come from, so that's why I miss a yard. You see me? Yeah, man. A building block me use for... You see me? And when, when rain falls, the blocks get heavier. I could wake up one of those days and say, it's heavier, I'm not going to work out today. I get to work out today. What I was doing already, my body got used to it. So this now is an opportunity to push myself to do more. Because I look at it like one of them would normally weigh like for example 10 pounds. Just saying, I don't know what the exact weight it weigh, but it feel like a 10 pound. You see me? So when the rain fall on it now, it would be it would sum up to like 15 or 20. You see me? So you know so when you do it now, you are getting in double the amount of feeling, fulfillment. You see me? Because you go there look for it now, say oh one year they do. But you know see how heavy I say you know see them the one day. You don't feel like I say yo. You see me? You know so they get more why you word now I don't want to say flexible because that is referring to your body. Then become more weighty. I'm going to put it that way then. Then become more weighty. So you know, say you have to keep pushing it. I just want bonus me a phone up on this one and I still know. Be persistent. Be persistent. Never stop. Never stop. Persevere. Be relentless to your dreams and your goals. Your career, your business, and the thing that you are working and you are working towards. Be persistent. Never stop. A lot of people will see a lot of things that I am doing and I was doing and feel that I give up. But me not give up. Sometimes you just have to go a different way in order to see. To really see. And sometimes you have to just do, you have to just do some things and to see the outcome of it. To see the outcome of it. You have to be so mysterious that people don't know your next move. They are always wondering, they are always guessing. What is he going to come with next? What is she going to come with next? What is she going to do next? What is he going to do next? Where is he going to go next? Where is she going to go next? You see me? Keep them guessing, keep them wondering. Never remove, re never reveal your next move. Never reveal your next move. The game is meant to be sold, not told. <laughs> Listen me. But I'll go to our next bonus now. Know what's next. Know what's next. Remember saying, you know, if you the play the game of life, it's like a literal game, like in a literal simulation. Elon Musk went there, watch one interview. I never want a long interview, I mean, a couple minutes. I don't think you ain't reach half an hour good. You see me? But it's like a simulation that we in, and the sooner that we realize that it's like a game, like The Sims. I don't know if you ever used to play Sim City. That's a long time game, Java. <laughs> you see how long that is, you see me? Nowadays, people now go know them the game they for 2009, 2009 to 2012. That's how they used to play game for button phone. Prince of Persia, Asphalt, 1, 2, 3, 4, and them part. You see me? When they start reach a 4, they start making them on PlayStation. I don't really know about them things again because a couple of years well now I don't play no game. You see me? Long time. I mean, a manager, I love game. A game teach me how to read fluently. In order to play the game, you have to know what they must say. And that, that will push me. Because I really want to play the game. And the kind of thing that I'm glad to learn through the game, like especially The Sims, is a, is a realistic simulation game. So you have to level up the character. And you have different things that you do. Like normal thing, go out and meet people, talk to people, 
So you have to read the conversation, then they pop, pop up in the bubbles. And some of them, they, they were initial key points, they were initial things that you needed to do and that you needed to choose and those ways in order to move to the next level. And what you choose determines where you go. Same thing, know what's next. Chestnut checkers. Grandmaster is 15 moves ahead. A grandmaster is 15 moves ahead. Oh, I remember how they put it exactly. But they say like a rookie player knows his next move. Like a intermediate, a intermediate or moderate, moderate level player knows their next three moves. Intermediate knows their next five. A master is... I remember if a master or pro or something like that knows their next 10 moves. But the grandmaster knows his 15 plus moves ahead so you know what next thing i gonna do for a long term if you are building a business you are supposed to have daily goals weekly goals monthly goals yearly goals five-year plan and a 10-year plan for your personal life your business life and your career and every um Every part of your life, let me put it that way because I can't find the word right now. I don't find the word for you. Every section of your life, every category of your life, you're supposed to have a plan for each of them spiritually, mentally, physically. Every alley. You're supposed to have a plan, a routine that you follow, that you do, that you commit to. The plans are there, yes, and plans are some things that are meant to be changed and altered at any given time. But the goal is never supposed to change. If you switch from plan A to plan B, plan B is supposed to be another alternative for you to get to the goal. And, and or it is supposed to tie back into plan A. You see me? Everything supposed to be connected. Everything supposed to be moving in one accord. That's the best way I can put it for know what's next. You see me? Until next time, see you in the next video, my genius. Blessings, prosperity, and abundance to you and for us all. Know your next move. Know who you are. Continue to be blessed. Jonathan, find a way, not excuses.